Welcome back. Rick Malfers with Alpha Foundation Specialists joins us, and his company provides a real service to homeowners. So yes, welcome. Thank you very much. You know, this I is one of, those, one of those things we don't think about that often until we actually have the problem. Correct, for sure. Okay, tell us what you guys did. Okay, well, Alpha Foundation Specialists is a local company uh, founded in 2002, and we do specialty repairs to crawl spaces, foundations, uh, crawl space moisture remediation, basement waterproofing, and settled and sinking concrete slabs. Um, all the products that we offer come with either a lifetime or a long-term warranty. It's fully transferable if you ever decide to sell the home. Um, we are <clears throat> commonly uh, among the top with Angie's List, Better Business Bureau, Customer Service Awards. Um, we will see about 3,000 houses this year and also um, we're licensed in Florida and Georgia. So what is that? This is a crawl space. So um, you know, crawl spaces in Florida uh, with a you know our nice humid environment, our nice humid climate. Uh, dark, damp crawl space is a breeding ground for all types of fungus, mold. Um, you can see a lot of crawl spaces have standing water, uh, water intrusion, and everything like that. So um, if you see there, you can see where some of the mold is causing damage to. The wood members in the crawl space, uh, which can lead to some structural damage as well. And that's why we don't really have basements in Florida because of the, that fact that we're sea level, I guess. Because Correct. Everywhere else in the country I've ever lived, we have basements, but but not here. And that gives a really people a good idea of how much moisture is in the soil and right there. For sure, for sure. Yeah. I mean, if you if you have a basement, we fix it, but we don't see that many around here. Right. Um, again, as you can see there, with that pencil going through the wood, that's you know, an ultimate sign to the homeowner that, hey, something needs to be done. Um, which, with these problems, um, we offer a um, patented system called a crawl space encapsulation, mm -hmm. uh, which is called clean space, which we actually install, uh, and it seals the home from the earth, and we actually seal the vents off and uh, dehumidify the space to where at that point uh, we're, we're creating like a semi-controlled environment underneath the house. Mm -hmm. So all of those issues you see there with mold, fungus growth, pests, termites, wood destroying organisms, all that kind of stuff kind of goes away. And the other thing is it's important to get it out of your house because it continues to decay and to rot and eventually it can get into the air system and filters where your children are breathing or where we're breathing. <laughs> that was exactly the next thing I was going to say, you know, about 50 percent, 50 percent of the air that we breathe in the house comes from the crawl space. This is a before picture and we're going to see the after. Picture. Okay. I didn't mean to interrupt you because I wanted, no, to, okay. I wanted everybody to know that, that everybody can see what you guys done. Now that's the after. That's the after picture wow. of a crawl space encapsulation system. Okay. Um, so get back to the breathing then. Yeah. So it, it actually infiltrates up through our homes. Yes, and, and it's. You know, with Florida having, you know, a lot of allergens, a lot of mold, a lot of uh, decay in the crawl space can, you know, through the crawl space it gets up into the house mm -hmm. and then we breathe those things. And by having the crawl space encapsulated, like we just showed the picture, again, we're getting rid of all of those things. Um, and making it a, you know, a lot of houses, especially during this time coming into the spring and summer, mm -hmm. uh, you know, can be damp, smelly, you know, a lot of odors and things like that, that this system helps um, alleviate. Sure. And another thing is leave it to the experts to do, because right. I'm sure this is not, this is a dirty job and somebody's got to do it. For yeah. sure. For sure. And you can see in the pictures actually in the back, um, you know, the, uh, what's called a smart jack, uh, which is a, uh, you know, we've been on here before for foundation repair. Uh, we also do a lot of crawl space repair. Uh, so when you have mold and moisture in the crawl space, it does a lot of structural damage to the underside of the home. And so we can come in there and after it's encapsulated, um, can install a structural support system mm -hmm. to be able to make sure, you know, everything stays intact and, and does what it's supposed to do. So here's a little um, a graphic of showing how we would um, support the crawl space from underneath there. Mm -hmm. So you can come in there. Again, with that moisture, it really deteriorates the wood. And we can come in there and either install, you know, new structural beams or repair what's already existing underneath there. Because mm -hmm, eventually, I guess, if you do nothing, the house will then start to sink, like the living room and everything. If the wood is rotting to that extent, it's not going to have the strength to hold up that kind of weight, to bear 100%. that kind of weight. Yeah, if you look, I mean, if, if wood is saturated with water over a certain percentage, it loses its structural integrity. So when that starts to sink and settle, you know, in, in, in Florida, we have uh, crawl spaces that can even be you know, 12, 18, 24 inches tall. And the um, good thing about a smart jack is we can go in there and actually uh, use it in really tight spaces. A lot of the repairs can be done in one day. Um, and then we can lift and level that space a lot of times while we're at the house. What may be some of the signs that um, our, our foundation is in trouble, people at home that might hear you now? What mm -hmm. might be some of the, the early warning signs that are maybe not so obvious? Right. Well, we look at, again, 
the same thing we've talked about before, which is cracks above the doorways, cracks in the interior drywall, uh, cracks in the brick or the block on the outside. And then when it comes to crawl spaces, you'll see, you know, maybe gaps in the floor uh, between the um, shoe molding and the, and the wood floors, uh, or again, cracks over the doorways and windows and doors that aren't operable and that, that kind of mm -hmm. thing. And if homeowners want to learn more, and um, call mm -hmm. you. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Just give us a call. Uh, we actually do a free estimate. We'll come out to the house and go through a series of questions and concerns uh, that the homeowner is feeling and make sure that we give a repair that's right uh, for what the homeowner needs and then we can generally give a price right there on site. You know, i got to be honest with you. I've noticed, like, cracks in my house, mm -hmm. just like in the foundation of mm -hmm. the outside, as well as my neighbors have complained about this, too, right. and that the houses are only five years old. Right. But they're already starting to settle. Mm -hmm. Is that normal? Well, again, in Florida, we have a lot of rain, a lot of different uh, just shifts in, in weather and that kind of thing, and uh, that generally isn't to do with the construction of the home. Mm -hmm. It's generally to do with the soil. So if we have, you know, weather changes with a lot of rain, and then uh, maybe a drought or something like that. Those weather changes and that moisture content in the soil changes, and it starts to allow houses to move and shift and settle. Good. So, well, always, yes, always good to have you. It is. It's always interesting. It, it's it's always always something new to talk about. It is. All, All right. right, Rick. Thank thanks. you, Karen. We'll be right back.